welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Crystal Bell and today I'll be showing you my everyday makeup look. If you're curious on how I achieve this look, keep watching. So to start off with this makeup look, I'll be using the Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Under Eye Concealer. So I started off by covering my eye bags and the red spots and dark spots. Also the corner of my lips because my lips are quite dark at the corners. As well as the side of my nose because my nose gets really red at the side. So yeah, I'm just gonna even my skin tone out so that it's like a blank canvas. By the way, this sponge that I'm using is from Skin Food. Skin Food is a Korean brand. I've actually found this sponge when Pony used it. So I've seen her use it in almost all of her videos. So I thought that I'd get and try. And yeah, I wasn't disappointed at all. Really love this sponge actually. So the foundation that I'll be using is the Double Lasting Foundation from Edit House. I put my foundation in the areas which require extra coverage as well as the highlighted places because it gives off a more glowy look. Next, I'll be doing my brows with the Innisfree Auto Brow Eye Pencil. It is very cheap and affordable so I would definitely recommend it to you guys. So I will start by brushing my hair into the shape that I want my brows to be. I have quite bushy eyebrows actually. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> so once I'm done with that, I'll be using the same concealer to go over um, the parts where... It's hairy. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so mad at this. <laughs> Next, I'll be moving on to eyeshadow and the eyeshadow palette that I'll be using is the Etude House Play Color Eyes. This palette is the Cherry Blossom Palette by Etude House. So I'll be dipping in this shade of matte blush pink. This will be a base shade and the brush that I'm using is from Etude House Brush 310 for eye base. Next, I'll be using this peachy matte shade from Innisfree. It is in shade 33. So I'll be using this orange shimmer shade. I'll just dip in with my tiny finger. Just like that. And I'll go over from the front. Now I'll be using the brown shade. And I'll be using the Laneige brush. I have no idea what brush it is. Yeah, it doesn't say, but I'll be using a lineage brush with a tip that looks like this. And I'll be dipping in with a darker shade of brown. So right after eyeshadow, I'll be using my eyeliner. This is the eyeliner that I love, love, love. This is my favorite eyeliner and it's the Heroin Make Smooth Liquid Eyeliner. This eyeliner is literally my favourite. You can buy it from Watson's. This is the shade in brown. They have it in black as well. And the reason why I love this liquid eyeliner is because it has a really sharp teeth. So now we're done with eyeliner, we'll be moving on to eyelashes. And for eyelashes, I'll be using this matte clipper, eyelash clipper. I actually have one from Etude House as well. Um, I don't really see much of a difference, so I'm pretty sure the Etude House one is cheaper. But anyways, the MAC one was actually given by my mom because she doesn't use it. So I'll be using this one to clip my eyebrows. My eyebrows? My eyelashes. <laughs> oh my god, bless my eyelashes. They are cooperating with me today. Let me tell you, this is a game changer. Let me tell you why. This that I have is the Lash Bone Black Fiber In. It's an eyelash primer. It actually gives so much volume to my eyelashes and it pulls my eyelashes up. So, when you open it, it looks like that. So this is the mascara that I use. It's called Deja Vu Keep Style. It doesn't really a particular brand but I got it from Watson's. 
So the next step that we have is lower lashes. I don't usually do lower lashes, so you can skip this part if you want. But when I'm feeling extra, I just like to do my lower lashes. So I'll be using the Innisfree Skinny Long Long Kara. This step is my favorite step and it's blush. I love doing my blush. So the blush that I'll be using is from Innisfree. It's in shade number 3. And the brush that I'm using is brush 150 from Etude House. I'm so sorry about the sunlight. It's just going up, down, up, down. I'm using natural lighting and I'm sitting right next to my window, so don't mind the sunlight. <laughs> so the next step that I'll be doing is contour and I don't contour very often, so it depends on my mood. Um, because I don't have a contour palette, so this is the only thing that I'll be using. It's an eyeshadow. It's an eyeshadow palette. Not really eyeshadow. It's an eyeshadow. It's an eyeshadow. As you can see, I already hit the pen because this is the only contour thing that I have. Next highlight, highlight I'll be using the shimmer shade from this eyeshadow palette. Lastly, I'll be using the Ink Velvet from Peripera and it's in this shade of Rose. And I'll also be using this from Peripera, it's my favourite. It's a sugar jelly lip tint and it's like a strawberry shade. strawberry one to give it a bit more dimension now I'm gonna clean up with the same concealer that I've always used so this is the makeup look all together thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe down below do turn on my bell post notifications and also follow my social media links at crystal.bell for instagram and crystal.underscore for both tiktok and twitter and I'll see you guys next